So today I'm talking about a P0446 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0446 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system vent control circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And when you get a P0446 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these components, mainly what's called a vent valve. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting to know why. And depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, things like this, there can be differences on what's going on inside the EVAP system. Although the basics are usually the same throughout them, there can be some slight differences. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But the basics of what's happening is that you're going to have gas vapors that are going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose over to what's called a vapor charcoal canister. And this is kind of like storage for the gas vapors. It also has activated carbon inside of it, which filters the gas vapors and things like this. And either combined with the charcoal canister or separate, it can vary, is going to be what's called the vent valve. And the vent valve is basically just a solenoid that opens and shuts when the computer tells it to. And it vents air to the outside of the system. And the vent valve does different things. When you go to the gas station and you start to fill up gas, all those gas vapors that are inside the gas tank are going to get pushed through this hose. And this can overwhelm the system. And so when you're filling up gas, this vent valve needs to be open so that all those gas vapors don't overwhelm the system and cause issues. A very common symptom when this happens is that when you're filling up gas, the gas pump will keep triggering off, it'll keep popping off, and you won't be able to fill up the gas tank very quickly. The computer also uses the vent valve to test the system. And again, depending on the vehicle, it could do this differently. But very commonly, like one, two hours after the vehicle's been shut off, the computer will send a command to this vent valve to close, and then it'll check the EVAP system to see if there's any leaks. So the vent valve does a few things. The charcoal canister is also going to have a hose going up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically just stays closed when the engine's off. And then once the engine's running and warmed up, the computer's going to tell it to open. And this will allow the gas vapors to go into the engine and get burnt off. And so that's a real basic overview of what's going on with the EVAP system. Like I said, if you're going to work on this, be sure to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0446 code? Well, the most common cause of this code is going to be something's going on with that vent valve. It either went bad or there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. The vent valve is going to be located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. It's going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, but it's usually located underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. And it's very common for the vent valve to be combined in with the charcoal canister. For this reason, if that vent valve is bad, it's very common for mechanics just to swap out the whole charcoal canister. Although sometimes if you can find the vent valve, you can take the charcoal canister out and you can just swap out that vent valve if it is bad. This vent valve is nothing more than a solenoid that just opens and closes when the computer tells it to. It's a fairly simple little device. Like I said, sometimes they can be separate, so be sure to keep that in mind. It's going to vary. It's going to depend on how the system was designed. But the first thing to do is go check out this vent valve and the vent valve wiring. One thing that happens sometimes is that mud gets stuck inside the port that vents to the outside. And if this happens, it's just going to clog up that port. And so no air can go out. When the computer commands that vent valve to open or shut, it's going to seem like it's always shut. So you can check to see if there's a lot of mud or debris or something blocking the port that vents to the outside. There's some different ways to go about testing that vent valve. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, quite often they have a command inside of there where you can command it to turn on or turn off. And when this happens, you could hear it click when it goes to shut and you could hear it click when it goes to open. Some people will apply power to it and see if it opens and shuts. Also, it's normally open until the computer commands it to close. So what you could do is you could remove the two hoses on either side of it, and you can see if you can blow through it. And if you can't blow through it, then you know it's shut, then that there's an issue with it. So again, there's some different ways you go about testing that vent valve. But the first thing to do would be go locate that vent valve and test it and be sure that it's good. If that vent valve is good, then the next thing to do would be to test the wiring. And again, be sure to get schematics for your vehicle since there can be differences for exactly what's going on. But usually one pin is going to have 12 volts going to it, and then the other pin is going to be going back to the computer, which will command it to turn on or off. Off. Like I said, be sure to get wiring schematics or a diagram for what's going on on your particular vehicle to know for sure. But it's very common for these to have 12 volts going in on one wire. And then on the other wire, it's going back to the computer. And so what you could do with the wiring is you could test it, be sure you're getting 12 volts. And if you are getting 12 volts, then test the wire going back to the computer to see if there's an open or short or some kind of issue going on there. But the next thing that can cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. And the next thing on the list that can cause this is that the charcoal canister went bad. These can get clogged up, especially if they're really old and there's a lot of mileage on the vehicle or things like this. 
There's activated carbon inside of this charcoal canister that filters that as it goes out to the engine or it goes up to the vent valve. And if all this activated carbon, which is small little pellets, if they get all clogged up for some reason, then it could block the flow of those gas vapors to go to the vent valve. And that's going to cause issues. So, so next thing on the list is going to be a bad charcoal canister. It might just be clogged up and just be causing issues. And some other things that might cause this code, since they are part of the EVAP system, is going to be something like a bad gas cap or a bad inlet for those vehicles that don't use a gas cap. And basically, the gas cap is a part of the EVAP system. And if it's not sealing correctly, then this could cause the EVAP leak, which is also another thing that could cause problems. Although usually if you have a bad gas cap or an EVAP leak or something like that, you're going to get another code like a P0455 code or something along these lines, which would be evaporative emission system leak detected. Also, there's a purge valve located up around the engine somewhere. That's another solenoid that opens and shuts when the computer tells it to. And that is a part of the EVAP system. And if that has an issue, then it can cause problems. Although again, if you do have a bad purge valve you usually get another code these are fairly simple to test i've made videos on this i'll put a link down below if you need to check that out but usually if you have a bad purge valve you'll get another code but it is a part of the evap system and the last thing on the list is that there's a fuel tank pressure sensor located around the gas tank somewhere usually on the fuel pump although sometimes they're just mounted directly on the gas tank and that pressure sensor is what's reporting back to the computer what's going on inside of the system and so there might not be no problem inside of the system but the computer thinks there is since that fuel tank pressure sensor has gone bad and it's just giving it bad information but again usually if that happens you're going to get another code like a p0452 evaporative emission system pressure sensor but the last thing on the list is going to be a bad pressure sensor and so that's basically it i just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p0446 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day